All right, so inside, let's see if I can get this. Uh, that's about as zoomed out as it's going to get. So we chose this floor plan uh, for a couple primary reasons. We wanted the door at the opposite end of the bed. So uh, when somebody is sleeping in late or goes to bed early <coughs> or isn't feeling well, everybody and their brother isn't coming in the door right at the end of the bed. We found many floor plans have the door right there. Didn't want that. So we chose one with the door at the opposite end of the trailer. And we wanted the dinette uh, opposite end of the trailer. The other thing is, we didn't know the term for it, but door side dinette. In American RV parks, when you back into your campsite, your campsite is out your right side of your trailer. There would be your fire ring and your tra uh, chairs and all that. So you kind of want, we thought we'd want the dinette on the door side because otherwise you're looking at your neighbor's campsite. <clears throat> well, this floor plan doesn't achieve that goal. That was like the one thing we couldn't really get. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> But this is a close compromise. We have these great big windows and the door when it's all open. Uh, it really gets some breeze through here. It's really uh, lighted up nice. So uh, that was our compromise. We don't have a door side dinette. <clears throat> we do have a nice big closet right inside the door where you can actually hang things. Our dollar broom. So a lot of nice cabinets for storage up above. Uh, it comes with a six foot refrigerator, freezer. Plugged it in, we tried it on both propane and electric. It it does freeze and it does chill. Um, <clears throat> this will be interesting. Entertainment system. Uh, built in. It's a DVD player, Bluetooth, AM, FM, CD. Uh, I did uh, pair it to my phone and it does Bluetooth through the camper speakers. Uh, the TV is, I think, a 32 inch with a digital antenna on top and so for the first time in about 10 years we actually have TV at our house now <laughs> in this house anyway in our mobile shelter um, so that's kind of interesting we haven't had cable TV we haven't had any TV even over the air broadcast TV for well over 10 years we just get everything off the internet <clears throat> so let's see here then the, so the kitchen is all laid out on one side right there. So microwave, three burner range, an oven, two uh, well sink, and it's a what they call a stone cast sink. So it's a nice hard surface. I don't know what kind of a composite it is, but it's it's a solid sink. It's not real stone, but the way they advertise it is you can pour a pot of boiling water in it and it's not going to warp and deform. Um, comes with this nice little prepped cutting board on top. Another cutting board on top of the range. I'm a little concerned about this because if somebody were to fiddle with these knobs <clears throat> and light a burner underneath, it would start a pretty good fire. So, we'll, we'll make sure we keep an eye on that. Uh, okay, so that's the layout of the kitchen area, conveniently located to the dinette, so there's not a lot of walking back and forth while you're serving your turkey dinner. Uh, let's see. The full bath, the luxurious full bath. One of the uh, features of this uh, RV is that it's three inches taller. Uh, than a typical RV. We looked at a lot of small RVs and my head would literally rub against the uh, air conditioner at the top there. This seems three inches taller so it, it seems pretty spacious and it really pays off in the shower here because uh, some of the showers my head would be up in the bubble they call it up in the uh, sun <clears throat> uh, sunlight this one is not, and it has a taller tub surround, so hopefully less water will splash in behind it. They 
saying not to get hyper critical about sealing around these things. They, they expect some water to come down behind the surround and then it will trickle out. These overlap and so it comes out back into the shower pan. So, but uh, full shower, real toilet for both functions. A little sink. I'm a little concerned about the drain in this thing. There's like nothing to stop anything from going down there. Might have to put a little screen on it. I had uh, <coughs> optional <coughs> covers put on uh, the vents so that we can leave the vents open even while we're going down the road. I don't know if you can see it out there. Maybe you can. You can kind of see it. Yeah, there's a cover. That way the vent can be left open when it's down the road and it doesn't blow against this a little bit. Nice big paddle switches. You're not trying to find some little flippy switch in the middle of the night. Alright. <clears throat> Full size residential queen mattress. A lot of RVs have a 74 inch or 76 inch mattress. It's you know basically six inches shorter than at home. I don't understand that. Maybe because on a law of averages most people aren't six feet tall. But I don't like sleeping with the heels of my feet hanging off the end of the bed. The monsters will grab them. You know that. So anyway that was a big selling point for us and <clears throat> We originally were looking for twin uh, bed layouts. Nobody makes those. But the way they've built the cabinets here, we're thinking eventually we'll take these corner cabinets out on each side and then put them in the center here, just kind of swatch, uh, swap them you know, left to right and make one cabinet right in the middle and then put, rebuild some cabinetry on the side here and have two twin beds. The purpose for that is not that we're robbing Laura Petrie, but I have a lot of events I like to go to, and I have a lot of uh, guy friends who I go to with, and like air shows and energy shows and other kinds of events, and it'd be a little less awkward. Uh, so anyway, maybe, maybe not. Might never happen. But uh, with that style of cabinetry, it would be easy to accomplish. Another interesting thing is <clears throat> they're now building uh, outlets in this little shelving area next to each side for, and they tell you right to your face, your CPAP breathing machine. And it is nice. It works really well. So on this uh, ceiling vent, I, ha I chose the optional dark uh, cover so we don't have to put a uh, some kind of a plug in there. In the bus we had to put a foam plug in the roof vent because so much light would come pouring out of the vent right into your eyes that you could hardly sleep. So That's the interior view. It looks like they had a little problem with the uh, matching of the fabric at the factory there. Uh, but I'm sure this will work out just fine for the few years that it'll last and then we'll recover it with like real fabric. It'll last more than a few years. So now I got to go buy about five gallons of Scotch, or yeah, Scotch Garden, Scotch Guard everything, because that's me. So oh, here's another little option thing that you're putting in USB charging station. Oh, and you can switch back and forth from your satellite to your cable. Or your internal antenna. They call it satellite, but it would be anything that you hook up. So I slept in this uh, the first night, just in the driveway. <laughs> I couldn't believe how many little glow-in-the-dark lights are on. The TV's got a little light on it right here. And this has a little light on it. And this has got lights on it. And the microwave has a light on it. And a blinking light at that. I mean, you could pretty much shoot photography in this thing at night. So much light's going on. 
So anyway, really excited about it. Oh yeah, it has an air conditioner. The air conditioner is capable of a, uh, having the optional heat strip. Uh, it doesn't come with that. I put that in the bus. It was really nice to have. It's about a 1500 watt heater. Um, and it was really nice in the bus to just take the chill off on a 40 to 50 degree uh, night. But I don't think I'll be doing anything with this air conditioner because it's got to be the world's loudest air conditioner. I haven't measured it yet on decibels, but it's loud. We'll see. Inside speaker, two more speakers up under the valance of the bed. But again, as Aunt Jean says, just remember, you're camping. And this has an interesting two-feature light. This blue light works really well on the printed page. So if you're reading a book, a magazine, black type on a white page, this blue light makes it really pop out. So you have both options there. So that's the inside. Capable of putting another TV there, but like I said, we're camping. We're camping. Don't need that many TVs. That's our uh, mobile shelter now. Better than a tent. Buy a lot.